my channel. Today we are doing another Munchies from the Movies, but it's really a TV show, but we're still going to call it Munchies from the Movies, whatever. As most of you know, Game of Thrones is coming out this Sunday, so I wanted to make a little dish. Actually, this is more like a snack or like in a little bit of, or like an appetizer, but I made these before for a Game of Thrones themed viewing party and they were a hit. I was, did a lot of research trying to find what would be the best dish to do, but with Game of Thrones it's a little bit more complicated because over the regions there's different kinds of foods per kingdom or whatever. Meat pies, which we're going to be making today, are pretty universal within the Game of Thrones universe. I actually got this idea from because Arya's meat pie, we're going to be doing kind of the spin off that, but it's not going to be quite the same. So let's get started. I wanted to start off by saying I'm going to be using Beyond Burgers for this, just because I really like the consistency. Um, it's really like raw dough, but you know, they have different brands like the DIY, DIY Burger um, and also that Light Life sausage that we use all the time, just as long as it has like a meat like texture it will be fine for this. So I'm only going to be making six. Um, you can do totally double the recipe if you're having a party. I did most of the work already so we can just kind of throw things in a bowl and make these pies. But first let's preheat the oven. We're going to just preheat the oven to 375 so let's start with that. And while that's going we will make our little pies. So we can go ahead and grease. Oh, since we're going to be making six we're going to just grease six. I'm just taking some olive oil spray. Ham. So I already took one patty out and I cooked it kind of like kind of like a ground beef consistency so there's different textures going on within the meat pie. So we're going to add this and then we're also going to add the Beyond patty that hasn't been cooked yet. And I still chopped up half an onion. It was kind of a small onion which is perfect for this. I'm going to add that as well. Then you're going to want to add some salt, but of course, you know, I use garlic salt. So we're going to just throw some of that in there. Pepper, not being too fancy today with the freshly ground pepper. And that's just to what you think your taste would be. We're also going to add some sage. I'm just adding like, it looks like a teaspoon almost. Adding some panko breadcrumbs. And we're going to do a fourth. Well, a quarter of a cup. If you want to make it more like Aria's meat pie, you can add carrots, turnips, and parsnips, as well as mushrooms, and kind of give it the overall look of Aria's meat pie. I have this mix in the freezer. It's um, country potatoes from Trader Joe's, and there's mushrooms, some, it looks like green beans, and um, potatoes. Parsnips and turnips, so I was thinking maybe a little bit more of a carby root vegetable, that's why I did the potatoes. Um, and then mushrooms are in this, so that goes with Aria's recipe. We also need a flax egg, and I had that sitting, and that's ready to go, so we're just going to add that. I'm going to go ahead with my hands and mix it up. I'm also going to add a little bit more salt, because now, now that I'm thinking about it, I just want it to be flavored enough. So let's go ahead and get this in. I'm going to button this. Just make sure everything's well mixed. So this is looking pretty good. Everything is well incorporated. So we're just going to put our pie crust down. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. Let's go ahead and roll both my sleeves up. Then this one's already up, so. Might as well make it match, make it symmetric. This is really going to do six. We only need one pie crust. If you're going to be doing all 12, you need one crust just to put the base down and then another one to cover the tops. Go ahead and roll it. So I think I'm just going to cut these into 12. Hopefully we can figure that out. Okay, so that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. But I did, I just like traced it so there's three and then four on that side, if that makes any sense at all. And we're just going to make sure it fits in here. And please don't forget to grease it. Very, very important. And then you have to kind of like shape it to fit in here. Okay, 
Okay guys, we have our little bowls down, so we're gonna go ahead and start adding our filling. I kind of made like six little sections, so I'm just gonna start adding that. And it's the perfect amount. Okay, so as you can see, they're all nice and stuffed. So we're gonna take the rest of the dough and cover these guys. Somewhat presentable. This one's gonna be an ugly one. <laughs> there just was too much dough, and so I'm trying to like mold it around. Okay, so we got a little pies, and we're just gonna poke some holes on the top. So I'm just gonna take this butter knife and kind of like just make it look more like a pie. So do a little cross. Meh, 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 meh. So we made a little pies, all ready to go in the oven. And we're going to toss those in there for 30 to 35 minutes. So let's see how that turns out. How adorable is that? And it's like the perfect size for like a snack. Okay, so let's try this. It's staying together really well. You do kind of need to like pry it out with um, a butter knife, but that's all. Let's see how it tastes though. Come on. Come on, little fella. You can... Focus. I don't know. <laughs> but, ah, you can see the potatoes and like the little pieces in it. It turned out really nice, I think. This is actually a pretty quick recipe other than like the baking time, but like putting it together didn't take long at all. And I think this is a really good idea for having people over because you don't need to really stress about making it because it kind of comes together super fast. But if you guys make this on Sunday, definitely tag me on Instagram at Robert's Aisha. I want to see how these turned out. See your variations too if you added the carrot and whatnot. To be on me, it works out really well. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Winter is finally coming. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.